and it's a one hit KO! going on on my Pokemon people it's me J Creams 14 here your host for my week 11 battle against the uh, Richmond Rayquazas also or er, coached by Dom he's a great friend of mine really cool guy and uh, yeah so here's our team builder to start it off is uh, you can see his team on the bottom right uh, he's got a lot of a lot of Pokemon with the same types he's got three poison types four flying types two dark types two steel types two dragon types and I think that's it but uh yeah so a lot of common weaknesses here um bolt beam is really good against his team so like thunderbolt uh ice beam or just ice fire or not ice fire uh ice electric <laughs> but uh anyways yeah so start us off we have grand bully here this is our defensive wall with intimidate leftovers and uh yeah max defense max hp it's got thunder wave to slow things down ice punch for the mega altaria and those four flying types and uh along with the rose raid and then we have superpower for things I want to switch into it, like wheezing, take it down to 50%, and uh, just be able to switch into like Soar, the Megalodios, or something to hit that thing hard. But um, anyways, yeah. So this thing is basically our counter to Mega Altaria. Um, the only thing that's kind of concerning with Mega Altaria is if he goes physical uh, Iron Tail, which could hurt pretty bad, or even if he's special and has like HP poison or something. Uh, but yeah, so this is our main counter to the Altaria because I'm pretty sure that he's going to bring physical just based on uh, it gets Earthquake, not Earth Power. So it can hit things like Arcanine, the Magneton for sure, uh, the Red Rock, and the Lantern, which could be possible uh, counters to it. Like, yeah. So <laughs> that's why I think that he's going to run like a Dragon Dance set, try and sweep sweep us because he's got a bunch of other walls in uh, Mons like Weezing and Registeel and Crobat Mantine and stuff. So I think that that Altaria is going to be more offensively, physically based. So that's why we have Gramble here. And uh, if you did want to set up like Cotton Guards, we always have that Super Fang to still bring him down to 50% or 25% after that. So yeah, next up is Sora the Megalodios with uh, Psychic, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and HP Fighting. This is our main sweeper and just something to hit his team really hard. Uh, this basically covers his entire team, I believe. Yeah, so we have the Ice Beam for Mega Altaria, Crobat, Tornadus, Noivern, Roserade, and that's it. <laughs> and then the HP Fighting for Bisharp and uh, Registeel. And then the Thunderbolt for the Mantine, the uh, Sharpedo, those four flying types besides Noivern. And uh, Psychic for the Weezing, Blaziken, Roserade. Yeah, so this thing is just amazing coverage for his team. It's really hard for him to switch into it. And uh, actually, because of this HP fighting IVs, I need to go uh, one more in speed. Because see, it took that down off of my IVs. But yeah, uh, I believe that... What, what was I speed creeping? I think it was Roserade. Yeah, Roserade goes up to 307 speed. So I went up to 308. Or is 307, 306. Better play it safe. Anyways, uh, next up we have Shoulder Day, the Regirock. This is our special defensive wall. And uh, his special attackers don't really threaten me too much. I can switch into Soar on the Roserade. And it can't really touch me that much at all, really. This is more for the Noivern. And uh, just because that thing is kind of scary, as well as the... Um, Thunderous, if he even wanted to bring physical, I still can take hits pretty well. And so, yeah, this is a Stealth Rock Ice Punch counter Drain Punch. Uh, I'm not too concerned if Regirock goes down. Uh, the counter is there just to get some big damage off on, like, Altaria if he wants to EQ and try and two-shot. Or uh, the Crobat if he wants to U-turn. Um, even Sharpedo, if it waterfalls, uh, counter should take it out. And then Drain Punch can get health back from, say, Bisharp and Sharpedo. Things that can hit it super effectively. But uh, I can bounce that back with either counter or drain punch. Uh, Stealth Rock is really nice for his team. Because like I said, those four flying types and uh, the Blaziken. Actually, the Blaziken doesn't because of fighting. Uh, they take quite a bit of damage from Stealth Rocks. But uh, yeah, moving on, we have Mandy. This is a Life Orb offensive uh, Arcanine set with uh, enough speed to outspeed the Roserade. 
and uh, most of his team actually it's not that fast but uh, speed boosting Sharpedo is a thing so <laughs> Oh, we have coverage and flare blitz, iron head, will o' wisp, and wild charge. We actually aren't bringing any priority this week, which is kind of scary. But uh, I think we're gonna be okay. Um, intimidate just to take like aqua jets and stuff better if we uh, can switch into it, or we probably wouldn't ever switch into it. But you know, <laughs> in, in dire times, uh, we have flare blitz just to hit stuff hard. Uh, iron head mostly for the mega altaria, basically only for the mega altaria, because uh, I can actually two shot it. Uh, even if it's at max max HP, I two shot with a low roll of 52%. And uh, Will O' Wisp is just—he's got a lot of physical attackers. So if I can Willow something, that'd be great. Uh, Wild Charge is also for coverage. Those flying types again: Sharpedo and Manton. So yeah, next up is Jules. And since he he has a really big psychic weakness with all his uh, poison types and fighting type and Blaziken, so I wanted to expose that with bringing both my psychic types. And so uh, we have Jules, the Choice Scarfed Azelf with uh, Psychic, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, HP Ice. This thing will be outspeeding anything on his team, including Scarfers besides Scarf Crobat, but I've never seen anyone run Scro Scarf Crobat. Um, Scarfed Noivern could also hit us too, or like could also outspeed us, but I doubt that he'd bring Scarf Noivern just because it's already super fast. But uh, yeah, so this is good coverage, uh, Psychic hits those poison and fighting types like I said, Thunderbolt for the birds, Flamethrower for the uh, Registeel and the uh, Bisharp, and because I didn't want to bring HP fighting on this as well, so uh, we went with Flamethrower and then HP Ice for the Noivern and like the uh, Mega Altaria. Yeah, and then finish it off we have Belly Fluff, the Diggersby, with uh, Wait, oop, not Choice Scarf, that would be awkward. <laughs> we go Life Orb with Huge Power, Agility, uh, Earthquake, Return, and Gunk Shot. Agility is just to be able to outspeed anything. Uh, even after a Dragon Dance, it outspeeds Mega Altaria with an Agility up, of course. And uh, it can outspeed the one speed boost Sharpedo. So, uh, yeah, and all his Scarfers if we get that Agility up. And then Earthquake just hits hard, same with Return. And Gunk Shot is basically for the Mega Altaria. Just if I can't take that down with, uh, say, everything else. I have literally coverage on basically everything. Yeah, I have coverage on everything for Mega Altaria on my team. Just because that thing is so scary. Like, it really puts in a lot of work against my team. But uh, anyways, guys, I'll see you guys back in the battle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> see ya. And welcome back to the battle, everyone. So yeah, we, as you can see, uh, there's his team on the other side as well as in the layout. Uh, he's got those three poison types in Roserade, Weezing, and uh, Crobat. So my Mega Latias will really put in a lot of work here, just clicking Psychic as well as uh, Thunderbolt. So yeah, I have perfect coverage on Lottie with three moves actually. But um, what I'm actually going to do, let's see, what should we lead off with? I'm thinking of leading off with Gramble because I feel like it'll try and lead off with... Uh, hmm... If actually, actually, if it has a uh, toxic spikes, that's not gonna be fun. Um, I want to lead off with something that can kill the Roserade, as well as something that can uh, that can take. On. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna lead out Jules. Um, actually, why wouldn't I lead out Sore? Sore the Latias is just great right now. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lead out Sore, and uh. Let's see, because, yeah, I basically have perfect coverage for it now. He leads off with a Blaziken, and as far as I know, this thing can't KO me in one shot. So, what I'm going to do is just Mega Evolve and click Psychic. Uh, if he, okay, stays in. Knockoff. Alright, perfect. We're eating that up. Blaziken is gone. First turn. KO! We're up 6-5 to five right now. This is looking like a really good start. Uh, it could go into Sharpedo. We have Thunderbolt for it, and we do outspeed it, barring the Scarf. So uh, it goes into Altaria. We have the Ice Beam. Um, let's see. That probably won't kill, and I really want to keep Soar around. But I'm glad that I have Jewel, Jewels in case this does go down. Uh, that can still come in with Psychic and like basically the same coverage. Um, let's see, though. Uh, I'm just going to switch into Grand Bully. This is my designated counter for it. Hopefully, it is physical. Let's see, Mega Evolves and goes for the Hyper Voice. Shoot, it's special. 
Ah, oh, that's really unfortunate. Um, okay, it looks like we're just going to have to sack Gramble here. Or actually, we could go into Shoulder Day, but I think that we're just going to have to sack Gramble and then move on from there. So yeah, we're going to Thunder Wave. So he goes for the Hyper Voice again to take us out. That's unfortunate. But um, yeah, we should be able to take something with Shoulder Day. And uh, we could get up rocks. We could um, we could just, I think I'm just going to Thunder Wave. Yeah, nothing on his team is immune. I'm just going to T-Wave, uh, make him either slower than me so that I could get rocks up next turn or uh, just make slow something down. Even if he goes into Weezing, uh, that's okay. It'll be even slower in possible paras. <laughs> so uh, let's see, Blaziken's down. That's awesome. Too bad that Gramble's gone. Uh, that would have been nice for the Sharpedo and everything. And uh, actually, Sharpedo kind of sweeps us right now. That's terrifying. All right, so he does go wheezing. Um, let's see. Can't really touch Soar at all. And then again, I get a free Psychic or a Thunderbolt. I think I'll... All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Soar. And then I'm going to click uh, Thunderbolt predicting the, the Sharpedo. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Going into Soar, don't think that he can really touch me. I'm super bulky. Paralyzed anyways. Okay, so now I'm going to Thunderbolt predicting the Pedo as he goes into the Altaria. Mm-hmm. So I see. Now this is special, and uh, I think Shoulder Day should be able to take something reasonably well. Uh, let's see. Hyper Dragon Pulse. That does 35% with a crit, so we should be able to live some Hyper Voices decently. And uh, right now, I'm just going to set up rocks as he goes into Weezing again. Oh, Crobat. He goes into Crobat. Um, let's see. This thing could have Super Fang, U-Turn, Knock Off. Right. Wait, does it get Knock Off? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I resist its flying stuff. <laughs> if I T-Waved again, like, this thing would be crippled. Um, I think I'm just going to... Going to... Or, let's see. I was going to say I could Ice Punch. This could be a nasty plot set. Nasty plot. Um, but then again, like, what does it get for me? I do need shoulder, shoulder, <laughs> shoulder day for the Mega Altaria, though. So I'm thinking I'll just go into Mandy. Or let's see. Hmm. I think what I'll do is he stayed in for a reason, or he went into this for a reason. I'm just gonna Thunder Wave. See, toxics me. Okay, that's annoying. Alright, so we get another T-Wave off. This thing is really slow. That's super nice. But uh, this is looking like a more bulky set. Maybe Super Fang, Toxic, something like that. And I don't want Shoulder Day to get crippled any longer. So what I'm going to do is go into probably Mandy getting Intimidate off. And uh, proceed to do something from there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going into Mandy. As it will probably just U-Turn out. Either U-Turn or Super Fang. Defog, okay. So it takes the rocks away. Um, let's see, what would he expect here? He might actually go into Altaria here. I'm thinking he's going Altaria. So what I'm going to do, it's either Altaria or Weezing. So I think right now I'm just going to click Flare Blitz, and then if he goes into Altaria, I'm clicking Iron Head. That's what we're doing. Flare Blitz, oh, it's a two shot. I didn't think that he would stay in. Just gets another Toxic off. That's okay. Uh, this Crobat is crippled. Um, let's see. Mandy. Still great for Rosa Raid. Weezing. We should be able to KO with another Flare Blitz or even a Wild Charge. So he's just going to stay in here. So I'm just going to Wild Charge KO. Oh, wait. That takes even more recoil. Oh, I'm stupid. And, oh, wow. So now he can easily go into Sharpedo Revenge Kill with like an Aqua Jet. Or, uh, yeah, so that's what he's going to do. Go into Sharpedo. Probably kill click uh, protect to get more toxic damage off and uh, this is what okay so he goes into Altaria I'm clicking Iron Head because uh, that just does a lot of damage I could even flinch if I oh roost okay and down goes Mandy well that's kind of sad uh, I think I'm gonna go into belly fluff and set up the agility and try and sweep now because uh, let's see hmm could get will o -Wisp by wheezing it's paralyzed though uh, I have gunk shot for this thing so what I'm gonna do is go into belly fluff he might fear the scarf um, I'm going to agility and boom perfect so he goes into wheezing agility it up and now we're going to click uh, return 
hopefully two shot this yep we can two shot as long as he doesn't willow sludge bomb we're good we should be good actually aqua jet might KO and he gets the poison oh well 30% chance uh, we click and return here um, if belly fluff goes down my counters for mega or my <laughs> the stuff that I have for mega altaria just keeps seeping away you know <laughs> but uh, let's see so we can definitely two shot this we'll probably KO the rose raid alright so we KO the wheezing very nice that thing is out of here big bulky wall gone Sharpedo with Aqua Jet can kill. If he doesn't have Aqua Jet, I mean, I'm surprised that he didn't bring. Huh. He might not have Aqua Jet because he didn't bring it in against uh, Mandy when it was at such low health. Goes into Sharpedo, and I have a good feeling this doesn't have Aqua Jet. So I'm going to click Return. I'll take some poison jam damage if he protects. Oh, goes into Rose Raid. That's a dead Rose Raid. Heck yes. Alright, even with a crit. Um, I mean, I two-shot it with a crit, and life orb poison. Hmm, that might have mattered, actually. <laughs> Sorry, Dom. That's my bad. Uh, Sharpedo's back in. Um, and a poison... The poison shouldn't kill me because it's just regular. It's not toxic poison. So it'll probably do... I think it's doing 8 or something percent. It won't do 14, I know for sure. So if he doesn't have Aqua Jet... Yep. KO with return. Perfect. And, oh, because of Life Orb, I'll go down to Poison. Now we should be able to KO this uh, Altaria with the combination of our last three Mons. But um, to slow it down first, I actually, no, I don't even need to slow it down. Because both of these guys outspeed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into, I don't want it setting up, so I want the most damage possible on it right now. So I'm going to go into Soar, just get an Ice Beam off. As uh yeah, here's Mega Altaria. It has Roost, so uh just Ice Beam that does 55%. Very nice. Roost again. Alright, so we're actually technically winning that by 5% each time. So uh I mean, yeah, so down we go to Hyper Voice. That's too bad. But uh now we can come in with Scarf Jewels and clean up with an HP Ice. And that is a GG Dom. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was a great battle, Dom. Uh thanks for battling. Uh yeah, GG man. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. Alrighty, so, I can breathe again, <laughs> wow, that was riveting, but oh man, thank you Dom, that was a great battle, uh, I'll be sure to link his channel down below, he's an awesome guy, he's actually our uh, our main main man, our coach in the PWM, so be sure to check those videos out too, but uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my week 11 NDBL battle.